Oh my god! So get your spoon ready and pull, huh? And eat as much as you can. Switzerland has a deep chocolate making tradition and has contributed a lot to the chocolate industry development, inventing milk chocolate, chocolate shell, developing conching, a process which created the world's first melting chocolate. I hope you agree with me that the chocolate makes the world a better place. Truffles, slabs with candied nuts, molded chocolate, chocolate flakes, Easter bunnies, eggs, the list is endless. Today I want to invite you to my chocolate journey as I want to share what I've discovered one beautiful Easter day in Switzerland. We are heading to the factory of the chocolate where the best chocolate is made in Switzerland, in my opinion. Okay, so one more change. Looks like it's just eight minutes, right? To finally reach the chocolate factory. Look at the surrounding. Can it be more perfect location to run your business? Yep, yep, yep. Finally we arrived. Easter Sunday. Traveling with the suitcases, on a bus, on the trains. No one does that here. No one. Well, where is the will, there is the way, they say. What a hospitality. We came actually a bit earlier, but of course, Switzerland, we respect your slot. So we will have a look. We still have an hour. So we already got this one. So with this code, you can make your own chocolate. And we already have five Swiss franc discount. And plus the lady just gave us free coffee now. So we're leaving our suitcases and going to see this chocolate wonderland. This massive sculpture has been designed and created by Elias Lederach. And the weight of the structure is 150 kilograms. And God knows how many of these eggs are here. Rudolf Lederach Jr. in 1970 invented and patented the process to manufacture thin walled hollow balls for truffles. That improved the truffle production speed and quality significantly and they were selling them to the other chocolatiers. Now Elias Lederach is a head of production and innovation so he's the one who competed and won in 2018 World's Chocolate Masters in Paris. They opened their own chocolate factory in Bilden in September 2012. Oh my god, where do I even begin? I just wish that Elias was here, but we came on Easter Sunday, so... Ladies first, thank you very much. <laughs> and for you, thank you're you welcome. So, much. so one additional activity you can do here is to create your own chocolate. So literally, they put some ingredients here, they give you a chocolate and you create whatever you want. Everything starts with the cacao fruit. They are different in sizes, colors, flavors, and none of them have chocolate flavor yet. The tree harvests up to 50-60 cacao fruits per tree per year. The trees provide fruit twice a year. However, the first harvest tends to have a better quality, and that's the one later company gets. Two vital processes occur before the beans even reach the manufacturer, fermentation and drying. Each of these steps are critical to the quality of the chocolate and each must happen immediately after the harvest at the location where it's grown. Fermentation takes average of 5 days. During the first days, the temperature of the bean rises significantly, killing the live bean and preventing germination. Unfermented beans do not contain the compounds. Yeah. You can see a mild difference. Necessary to produce flavor during roasting, so it's crucial to do the step correctly. Then the next step is drying. The longer you leave the beans to dry naturally and slow, the better, as they develop more different flavors. Tested and packed, the beans are being dispatched. Lederach produces 1,700 tons of chocolate per year. We got a chance to taste freshly roasted cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs are highly nutritious and tasty. And it's roasted. Pure cocoa. Let's have a look at the content of each chocolate. Milk and dark chocolate contain the same ingredients, just milk obviously contains milk powder, and white chocolate doesn't contain cocoa solids. During conching process, unpleasant acids are released 
and the pleasant flavors have the opportunity to develop. Then the last ingredients are added. Dark chocolate coaching can take up to 17 hours, but normally between 6 and 7. Conching method that is now being used all over the world was invented 143 years ago and was kept in secret. Thanks to it, we can feel a very smooth chocolate finish. Once the chocolate is done, it is being stored and used at the same time in huge tanks. Finally, a freedom to use the spoon. And you can eat as much as you want. Grand This Grand is the dark Grand chocolate. Grand yeah? Grand That's for you, no? On top of the chocolate fountain, and which you can eat as much as you want, they gave uh, a little treat. So I chose caramel flavor. Cheers. Mm -hmm. There is so much to tell, uh, but let's sit down with a fresh cup of coffee, some chocolate, potentially, and let's summarize everything. Signature, three different kinds of chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. So happy! I don't think I've eaten that much chocolate in my life. <laughs> so one more surprising thing is that I didn't know that here is an outlet. So you can buy imperfect chocolates, so there's a separate aisle. You know that it's from here, but they don't put a proper label. We even saw the family of the Lederach. Like, I mean, the whole employers is uh, the whole wall, and you kind of get a very, very close look at this company. It's not really big, but I think it contributes to Swiss chocolate branding. Don't want to exaggerate, but it's one of the best desserts really I ever tried. I'm not sharing with you, by the way. <laughs> this dessert is made of three different chocolates. What I really like that it's not very very sweet because it's very easy to go on the sweet side. When you don't add too much sugar, you appreciate chocolate more. It was all worth going with a whole suitcase, uh, traveling from one country to another to do a stop here, to see, to hear, to taste everything. Only half is Zurich Oh very important thing to mention that even though Lederach is pretty really good, it has strong competitors here in Switzerland. One very very good chocolatier is just behind my back. Bring it to me when I first came, it was like sensational chocolatier. So I think they really on the same league more or less. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next week.